rocket interceptions were seen on Vaden's Day over the city of Haifa in northern Israel. The city is being continuously attacked by rockets launched from Lebanon, more intensively in the last few days. Israel is at war with Hamas in Gaza and its ally Hezbollah in Lebanon, which began firing rockets at Israel on October 8, 2023. Nearly 2,000 people have been killed in Lebanon since then, most of them since September 23, according to the Lebanese Health Ministry. More than 41,800 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza, just over half women and children, according to local health officials. Explosions lit up the night sky of Beirut late on Monday as Israel carried out airstrikes in the Lebanese capital. The strikes happened as the world marked one year since the latest war between Israel and Hamas in Gaza began. Israel's military said fighter jets targeting Hezbollah's positions bombarded southern Lebanon with more than 120 strikes in an hour. In a possible sign of the expansion of its campaign, Israel said it would soon launch operations on Lebanon's southern coast, telling residents to stay off the beaches and the sea for a 60-kilometer stretch along the Mediterranean. Lebanon's Hezbollah, which has been firing rockets into Israel for the past year in support of its ally, Hamas, launched more than 170 across the border on Monday. Israel's strikes in Lebanon since late September have killed at least 1,400 people, including civilians, medics, and Hezbollah fighters, and 1.2 million have been driven from their homes. Wildfires driven by ferocious winds and fueled by dry conditions raged through parts of western North Dakota over the weekend, leading to one death and forcing more than 100 people to evacuate their homes. Officials don't expect the region's tinder dry conditions to improve soon. Six significant wildfires were reported, and four of them were nearly or completely contained, state officials said Monday. Downed power lines were believed to have ignited at least some of the fires. The fires burned in scattered areas over a vast swath of North Dakota's oil fields, including agricultural land, grassland and rugged badlands terrain where small, rural towns dot the map. Wind gusts reported Saturday morning in areas of western and central North Dakota ranged from 57 mph to 75 mph, according to the National Weather Service. Most of western North Dakota is in some level of drought, according to the U.S. Drought Monitor. The 44-square-mile Elkhorn fire near Grassy Butte was 20% contained Monday, 
and the 18-square-mile Bear Den fire near Mandaree was 0% contained, according to the State Department of Emergency Services. Johannes Nicholas van Eden, 26, of South Africa, died during a large fire near Ray in northwest North Dakota, the Williams County Sheriff's Office said Sunday. Detective Dan Ward declined to say how he died, citing an active investigation. Another person was critically injured, the sheriff's office said.